Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today we're playing Eve Online, and I'm back. We're doing um, some combat exploration today. Um, if you watched my last video, you probably um, uh, knew about the, my plan to get over the crazy amount of COVID work hours I've been getting, and I can tell by the upload schedule that this didn't work. <laughs> um, uh, I did try to make, I did try to push through the tiredness and try to make videos. But after I listened to them, they, they, they didn't sound very good. They sounded pretty tired. So, new plan is be going into the future. It's going to be just if I feel up to it, I'm going to do it. If not, I'm just not going to upload that day. So, but today I think I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm going to take this character, uh, which is my second character on my account, and I've been training him uh, the same time as my main. I'm going to keep him in high sec. And try to do uh, things you can only really do in high sec and low sec. So, um, so like mission stuff. I think about finding a good spot for that. Um, uh, combat exploration. Uh, I'll even use this guy for uh, uh, regular exploration um, because if I try to do it with my main, who is mainly in null sec, and there's a you know a big fleet going out, and then I'm stuck in some wormhole system, it's you know it makes it much more difficult to participate. But I'll keep this guy doing that. So if I you know. If he's stuck in a wormhole, it won't matter too much. I can just switch back to my main um, and jump into a fleet and, you know, have both. So a, a good way to prevent burnout in EVE is having a a good amount of, of uh, different activities to do that you can go back and forth. So in training this guy to be a bit of an uh, independent uh, character and doing some of this combo exploration is um, another uh, way to make money for the character. I don't want to keep using my main to give him money <laughs> to do things. Uh, I do like combat exploration. So uh, I, I uh, did get him in a, st um, uh, a Stratios. I did a uh, shield fit it. Maybe at the end of the video I'll show the fit. Uh, but in this system I was heading back to Amar, but I found this system and it has four signatures in it. So I think we're gonna drop probes and hopefully one of these is a combat site. And let's cloak because just why not? I guess he, I can do it. So it's cloak. And let's see. Well, they're not actually. They're kind of close together, but not really. So let's just make these a little bigger. And let's see how good we can get the uh, uh, signal strength on these. Now, technically, I'm in um, I think Kador, Kador space. So you'll see lots of Blood Raider stuff. I haven't actually run many Blood Raider sites. Most of my experience comes from uh, Sancha um, domain space. So I'm used to their sites, but not very used to uh, Blood Raiders. So I'm actually not sure how different they are. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully one of these will be a, a combat site. Alrighty, and... Wormhole? Not useful at the moment. That is not useful, so let's see. My fear is like they're all wormholes. <laughs> That's my fear is right now. But we'll see. Hopefully hopefully we'll get lucky. Hopefully we'll get lucky. And one of these is like, even a three out of ten I'll take. Just to get I'm trying to get my back in the swing of recording. And back in the swing of uh, combo exploration. So I kind of want even it's a three out of ten I'll you know a, a four out of ten would be nicer because the is possibility is a little higher. Not always. Obviously, three out of ten can drop some decent loot as well. Uh, four out of tens would be probably a better fit. Better fit for um, most of the strategies was built around doing four out of tens. But actually, think about it now. It was built to do um, Sancha four out of tens. Actually, not sure <laughs> if you could run a Blood Raider one. So I might have to f do some experimentation on that front and see how it turns out. Data site. Not useful. Alright, let's see this. I not, actually don't have even have... Um, I was thinking maybe it was a sleeper cache site, but... Uh, cache. Uh, but it was way too easy to scan down. These are really hard. And plus, I don't have the uh, necessary equipment on hand to switch up. I don't think I've actually found another one, uh, like last couple couple years, really, doing exploration. Still, still pretty rare. I think the last one I did 
um, the non frigate one. I did it in a uh, an exploration uh, legion, <laughs> I think. Hopefully not another wormhole. If not, we can just uh, hit up, uh, look look for a mar. We'll find our way back to a mar. We'll kind of search on the way down. All right. A little more. All right. Let's knock it down a bit. And let's see if we can get this one. Oop, we got a combat site. What kind is it? Level three. Hmm. Might be good. Might be good stuff. Let's find out if it's good stuff. Alright. Level three. I'm not sure what level three translates to. I'm not sure what that means like three out of ten. Blood Vigil. Uh, I don't know. Let's find out, guys. This might be a certain death. Blood Vigil. Alright. Let's give this a go. Level 3. I'm not sure how they go about level 4, level 5. I don't remember exactly how high the levels go in the scanning. Alright, getting an acceleration gate. Alright, we're going to go on this little blind. I can look it up, but, you know, what's the point in that? Alright, previous explorers have commented that one of the gates requires a passkey. Alternatively, it can be bypassed by meddling with the set security system controls inside the chapel. Overseer guards the battle station vigorously. Okay. So, chapel. So we need a key unless we blow up the chapel. But we can do that. Let's see what we're going up against here. We got stasis webs, which isn't, uh, probably isn't good. Probably want to get rid of these first off. That's what we want. Let's, let's maybe we can sentry turret them real quick. Yeah, where is this chapel they speak of? I don't see a chapel, do you? Let's go to this. Once we get to those, we can, um, Get, move a bit more freely. Got lots of asteroids here, guys. I think that might be useful. Let's um, let's do this. Let's add large collidables here. Smuggler's gate. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, let's blow that up, I guess, and make our way out of here. We're taking some shield damage here. I don't want to stay here longer than I have to. Oop, come on. Come on, blow it up. Come on. So as we get him bugging out of here, it's going to take way too much shield damage. Come on, blow it up. Come on, die, you bastard. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Way too much shield damage for this. Alright, that would definitely unlock stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, standing still like that really caused a bunch of damage there. Alright, yeah, I don't know these sites very well, so... Probably should have kept moving. The hell is this? Let's go backwards here. Put the afterburner on, even if they... Even if they slow us down. I'm gonna pull out some, uh... Some medium drones. Blow up these towers. I have them blow them up, see if we can... Um, and after that, I'm not sure if these... These stop warpins, or this random force fields? I have no idea. I just get rid of those. I'm not going after the drones yet, which is good, because I need these towers gone. After that, we can get to a more defensible position. Come on, die. There we go. Okay, next one. Okay. All right, got more speed. That's good. Ooh, pretty explosion. 
It's a pretty cool looking site. Even all oh, the repping. Who's repping that damn thing and why? What is this? Oh, it's Astro. I don't want that. Get out of here. All right, let's let's pull this in. Let's pull these guys in. Now I can move a little bit better now. Battle station. Do I have to blow up that? Yeah, actually, go back, guys. They're not, they're not bugging you. Go after that battle station. Is that repping them? We can't have that. I'm going to keep moving. Ooh, hello. Oh, something spawned. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think this thing can actually take them out, though, so that's not enough damage. Yeah, this repping. Okay, pull it back. Let's pull it back. When we get a little farther out, we're going to pull out the... Um, we're gonna pull out the uh, sentries. All right, thirty-six. Once we get about fifty, we'll stop. Pull out the sentries, kill everything we can. Because I'm assuming the more damage I do in this thing, the more uh, the more they'll hate me. So, okay, let's slow down. We're gonna pull out the sentries here. Start targeting the things that are closest. For tracking reasons. Alright, slow it down, slow it down. I don't want to leave my drones behind. Fire. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Okay, dead. That's good. Good, good, good. More dead? Okay, kill him too. Let's keep targeting things here as we kill him. Good. Some good hits. Uh, yeah, there we go. What's this? Station? Okay, man, I don't know what that is. It must be, is that a... Ooh, a dark blood. Oh, okay. Alright, actually, we'll leave him alive. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can kill everything else around him. I have him... He's really cl how close he is. He is... No, 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 no. Go after him. Go after him. Maybe, maybe we don't have to finish this. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if he has loot on him or not. Let's pull out the heaviest and kill this bastard. He's really fast. Look how fast he is ahead of everyone. Well, I, I have it up here, but... We'll kill him real quick, like. And then, uh... Among the... Okay, uh... Weird. Vacation spots? Okay. Alright, um... Should I destroy the battle station anyway, though? Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna clear the site. I'm just gonna clear it. Being destroyed. Okay, all right. I'm assuming this is the the uh, the best loot. Okay, once we got out of the firing range, the shields recovered a little bit here, so we're good on that front. So shooting the battle station made him spawn, but I'm not sure if it drops anything. Uh, nothing great. I'm hoping the battle station drops more stuff though. So let's drop. Let's drop some mediums here. And start going after these guys. I don't think the sentries can track anymore. I'm gonna orbit this. I gotta find the rack. Oh, there it is. Not me. <laughs> okay, let's find it. Find the rack. Find the rack. Here we go. All right, let's orbit this at like at ten or something. At Abion. They're going after the drones now. Though. Let's pull them in. Let's pull them in real quick. So maybe they go after the mediums more. Before they didn't though. So I'm assuming these are the, the troublesome ones. So pull the lights out. That's good. Oop. Yeah, screw to that guy. These ones are, aren't targeting me right now. I'm assuming they're on drone patrol. It is a very cool looking site. I'm not sure what these energy balls are. They look like force fields for like passes. But let's go after this guy. Yeah, now the red box on me. So I'm assuming if you use big drones, they, they do not like you. Let's do that. So I'm gonna clear these guys out. So I wanna see if that battle vision drops anything. Cause station matter didn't have much, anything good on them. Let's pull these back. You know what? This guy first. I'm gonna pull the heavies out. Let's pull the heavies out. See if I can uh, 
Kill this guy. There we go. I know you can't see it, but I'm pressing F to have the drones focus fire on this. Alright, let's go through these battle cruisers. Oh, this guy's closer. One at a time here. Let's take a look at the models. I think it's a prophecy, it looks like, right? Yep, prophecy is in, it looks like a splatter of blood in the Blood Raider way. Alright. Hands again. Heavy doing short work of these. I don't have the uh, Tech 2 skills yet for, um, on the, um, I want to call them, the Tech 2 versions of the heavies. Um, but So I'm using the Imperial Navy ones at the moment. I think it's like, what, 24 days for a uh, sentry, or not sentry, drone interfacing or something. Almost there, though. All right. I'm taking a bit more damage now, just because they're closer. I think we're doing reasonably well, though. This is a shield tank uh, Stratios. It's what I usually use in um, um, in uh, high spec exploration. Um, mostly because I can go into three out of tens and stuff with this one. And I, if I take an Ishtar, I can't. That and you get a scanning bonus. It makes the scanning go by a little quicker. Plus, it looks cool. Big fan of that. <laughs> it's one of the that and the Estero probably my favorite. Uh, looking ships in the game, probably. Well, right now they are. Depends on my mood, I guess. Ooh, nice. It's a nice explosion. So once we drop these guys, I'm going to see if I can take out that battle station with sentries. For some reason, I think some of these sites have, like, AoE damage or something for drones, but I don't, I don't remember which site it was. It's a non-paranoid. So I'll use sentries. I feel like I can blow it up from here. To get a little closer, don't we? Though I'm assuming as we um, uh, as we uh, get uh, all right, so as we get uh, through, um, oh, they're already going after it. Eh, it's through Sentry first. I don't want them to go charging right now. Let's stop right about here. Yep, I'm done. And we'll pull the Sentry out when we slow down. It really is a cool site, though. I wish I had more information here. Oh wait, there's more here. The hordes of micro drones run their final repairs near by friendly targets, then cease operations and go dead quiet. Okay, so they were repping. I thought they were repping. Okay. So that's actually a lot. This information probably shouldn't be in local. <laughs> CP should probably put like a little box or something. Um, sent from EM fields to nearby targets. Okay, so this thing was repping things. All right, let's pull the sentries out. Now let's see if we can. Uh, blow this thing up. I'm assuming more things will spawn though. So get ready for that. This might take a while though. Look at this. Oh boy. Okay. Just have to wait it out I guess. Is it wrapping? If this takes too long I'm just gonna... Oh. Standing is decreasing. <laughs> I figured that. If it, if it takes too long I think maybe I just like cut towards it, cut towards the end, and just see, <laughs> so I want to see if it drops anything. Part of me thinks it doesn't drop anything, but it was it was an active uh, thing in the site, so it feels like maybe it should drop some sort of loot. I'm not sure anything spawns around here. Okay, we'll see though. Alrighty, let's see if anything drops. Also, probably a cool explosion. Ooh, good explosion. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a good explosion. Whoa. All right. You gotta have a good explosion. He did drop something. Got some explosion wind and everything. All right. So let's take a look at that. Let's see what it is. Might take a while to get there. 61 kilometers away. Well, I think uh, as we go to the card container, let's take a look at the fit. All right. So I use this one quite a bit in um, against uh, uh, Nan uh, uh, Sancha in the in domain region. Um, so you obviously for the, um, the Stratios, 
Um, it gets drone bonus hit points and damage, and also four armor, four percent armor resists. I'm not really using those. I'm just I pretty much stacked everything into shields, uh, try to get a bit more damage. Um, but mostly I use this for it has your drones, even though they're they're slightly nerfed compared to a a, a an Ishtar. Uh, but it also gets a, a scan probe strength uh, as a roll bonus. So the scanning things down is half like the the, the longest part in combat exploration in high sec. So that does does uh, cuts the time a little bit having that bonus uh, built into the ship. Um, but okay, so we start off with the highs. We have a, uh, a drone a Ling Augmenter two. We have just a uh, core probe launcher. Actually, I was uh, under the impression that they're way more expensive than they were. I think it was like 25 mil I picked it up for. When I was, um, last time I did this, I tried to buy it, it was like 60 mil. So they dropped in price quite a bit. Uh, so I picked that up. It gives you like an extra 10% or an extra 5% compared to Tech 2. So I picked that up. Uh, Covert Ops Cloak. Just in case you have a, you feel like dipping into low sec. You have two large shield extenders, a multi-shield, multi-spectrum shield extender 2. An AB just for kiting. Um, uh, Omnidrench tracking link to uh, damage control. Omnidrench tracking enhancer to uh, drone damage amps. Just nut tech twos in the bottom. And I have in the rigs we have um, EM shield enforcers uh, tech two to squeeze out a bit more EM resistance and thermal uh, as well. Because I'm using this either against Sancha Nation or Blood Raiders most likely. Um, so I do need these up. I could probably do better I mean, if I took this off and added like EM um, and thermal. I, mean, I'll, I might give that a try. It's just if, if see if the tracking takes too much of a hit, I'll put the tracker enhancing link back on. Uh, drones I showed you before. I'm using uh, the the faction versions, the Imperial Navy, just because I don't have the skills quite yet for Tech 2 of the sentries and the heavies. But they're coming soon, so I'll be getting a bit more DPS out of those. Because DPS-wise, these uh, the faction versions are a bit tankier, but they don't uh, do as much damage. So 460 from the heavies, you're looking at uh, 424 for the sentries. So they do get a little higher with the tech twos, though. But it seems to work. I've done a, 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 a Sancha 4 out of 10. Not too much issue. Um, I did this one. The only hard part I had was trying to figure out the beginning of this site was shooting the chapel and kind of sitting still, which is a mistake. I should maybe orbit the gate next time. Um, but even then, I, I, you know, got through the gate and half shields, which, you know, kind of, kind of stretchy with a, kind of, kind of sketchy with a, uh, a shield stratios, but it worked out okay. Uh, and simulation, let's see what this has. Is there anything in this of note? Uh, not really. Just some basic stuff, it looks like. So I guess the actual tower isn't worth it. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. The actual tower isn't worth destroying, it looks like. Uh, it just, uh, I guess it has like a couple phases where it'll heal things around it. But the amount of hit points it has really isn't worth destroying. You kind of have to endure it, <laughs> I guess. And wait for the station manager to actually come to you, because he comes pretty pretty close to you. But uh, that was my first time running one of these, at least as long as I can remember anyway. But I think I'll end it here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get back to a more normal uh, recording schedule. Um, try to put this out maybe tomorrow, uh, which will be a Saturday. Hopefully I can get it edited. Uh, maybe a No Man's Sky video for a Sunday. And just try to get back in the rhythm of things, you know. But that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe. And fly safe and fly brave.